start uh, the process to get the throttle body removed. Uh, the first thing is removing this, uh, this air box. Well, this whatever this is, it goes in, it slides in there. There's just a couple things. These are normally like that. You just twist them. This thing just pulls up and slides out of there. So that's the first step. From there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disconnect this battery. Uh, it's because we're gonna need the space to get out of the, get it out of the way. Now, get my flashlight. Throttle body is you can't really see it. It's pretty much underneath this hose here. Um, so we're gonna try to get to that. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to remove uh, this air box, the battery, and I've seen people remove this uh, radiator hose, which I'm gonna try to do without. So, um, so right now, you know, to start, I guess we're starting with a 10 millimeter to remove these, you know, the battery. Then down below, there's gonna be a 13 millimeter down there. So you gotta remove that bolt in order to get the battery out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start doing that. All right, now that I got the terminals off, I got the extension uh, 13 millimeter socket or half inch, and that's just gonna go right down through here. Well, I don't think it has to go all the way, let's see. You just have to be able to get that plastic piece to slide back some. Yeah, I think it's out. So hopefully this battery, yep, the battery's loose. So let me go ahead and I'll take that out. So this air hose right here, this right here, goes follows down into the throttle body. See where that elbow is? That's where the throttle body is. So that's where I'm trying to get to right now. So I'm just gonna go piece by piece and, uh, and remove these. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the air box. And actually, I think I may, well, let's just do one at a time. I'll remove the air box. I think it's just removing that. And that should be enough. Um, and I'll see if I have to remove the full thing or not. this off. Okay, so this looks like you just pull this tab back, the red one, and there's a tab that you press here. So that's how that gets removed. I'm gonna get the bottom of the intake off. Um, it's really hard to get to. You have to go down below there. There's one of these uh, clamps, one of these down there that, that connects to the throttle body. Um, there it is there. That's the throttle body. And so there's a clamp down there, just like this one here. 
So in order to get to it, I mean, I just used a, a small extension and I was able to get this in through here, down in there, and, uh, and able to get it that way. It was kind of slanting that way, so when I was trying to get it underneath it from here, it was hard to get an angle on it. It was a little bit slanted that way, but um, you know, I was able to get that out. Um, there's a little, there's a um, clip that you have to undo that connects, to, you can see it there, that purple spot that you see on there, that's the clip that I disconnected from the throttle body. You just hold it on either side, on the back there's two little buttons. Um, you just depress both of them and it should pop right out. Now I'm going to get a, um, a, uh, a removal tool, uh, there to, I guess to detach that cable from the throttle body to be able to pull it out. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. All right, so I was able to remove that clip. You can see it there with a little bit of purple on it from that hole there at the bottom of that. So I should be able to slide this out either from the bottom or from the top. Uh, let me try it from the top. Don't want to make sure I don't harm any electrical cables or any uh, this, uh, radiator. That radiator. And there you go. So that's what that looks like. That's the top, the bottom. That's where that clip was. That's where the clamp was down there. That was hard to get to. So now we can have, we, we can definitely see the throttle body on there. There's your throttle body. I'm guessing it's just uh, four bolts. Uh, you can see two of them there. So I'm going to be, uh, I already ordered one. I'm waiting for that. So this is kind of just preparation for the new throttle body coming in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and probably try to remove that old throttle body um, just to get it ready for the uh, the new one that I have ordered uh, from Amazon this way. So in, in just summarizing things, I didn't have to remove the air box. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be leaving that there. I didn't remove, you know, you probably don't have to even remove those. But I didn't remove the air box. I think I have enough space here in order to do it. Um, I don't see you know, it being an issue. Uh, so I think I have enough space to get my hands in there um, without removing anything else. Um, you know, that's the connector right down there that you see that goes through the, to the throttle body. Um, and I think I'll be able to get it without removing anything else. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a little cramped in there, but it's definitely not impossible. I mean, I've seen people removing air boxes, so that's why I had planned to remove that. Um, and I realized it's not in the way at all. So I'm just leaving that there and uh, moving on, you know, to the throttle body. All right, so this is how you get down. So I have a... Let's see what I'm working with here. It's a 10 millimeter. I'm working with a 10 millimeter. And in order to get access to them down here, it's pretty clamped. But you can see there's bolts right there. You know, it's tedious, but it's doable. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep going with those because um, I'm doing this currently on my iPhone, so I don't have a way to really hold it, but you get, you get, you get the, the gist of it. It's four bolts. Those are the two bottom. Those are the two top. I'm guessing it's four bolts right now, so I'm going to be taking those off, and since I don't have the new one, I can't compare. That's usually the best bet, but I just want to get ahead of the game on this. You know, I want to be ready for when the part comes in. To, um, to go ahead and install. All right, well, that's how you have the throttle body. There's an O-ring. Um, the gasket, the kit should have a new gasket on it. If not, I'll have to go pick one up, but it's supposed to come with one. If there's a bracket there, you can see that there. You have to kind of shimmy it 
out. I didn't remove it. I think you can put it back in. Otherwise, there's just, I believe, just one bolt to remove to get rid of that bracket. Uh, so I don't know. I may have to or may not have to remove that, that bracket there. Um, so we'll see once I get the new one. Um, but I may remove it just to make it easier. It's just hard to get to those bolts uh, back there. Um, let's probably see it. Uh, yeah, that's the bolt right there in the middle of the screen. And that's the one to remove that bracket. So we'll see. Right now, I'm going to put something in there so no dust or anything goes in there. Uh, but this is what the throttle body looks like. Um, yeah, so I should have a new one coming in. Now, I just want to inspect it. Well, it's around uh, 11.30 in the morning. I just got started here probably, uh, I don't know, an hour ago taking this apart. Uh, I just heard the UPS uh, truck roll up uh, with the garage door closed and lo and behold my part arrived <laughs> right as I took the throttle body off uh, so the throttle body is uh, right there it's the old one and uh, I'm going to be opening up uh, the new one let's see I from Amazon it's a uh, AP DTY, I guess, I don't know, part number, I don't know if that's a 6551 or, I'm not sure what the part number is, but it's meant for this, uh, they use it for a lot of different vehicles, they use it for uh, Chrysler, you know, all the Chrysler vehicles, um, you know, this is a 2014 uh, Jeep Patriot, um, so, hopefully this is the right part, because I've been, you know, we've been without the vehicle. Or my mother-in-law has been without her vehicle. Um, and actually, this is probably what's been the issue. Um, she's actually probably looking to sell this car because I think we're going to... Well, I'm probably going to be getting a, a, you know, a new car. And I'm, uh, I'll do another video later on about that. But I'm actually looking at a uh, P85D uh, Tesla. And um, we'll see how that goes. But... It looks like <laughs> this does not have the gasket that it's supposed to. Um, that's the part there. That's the new part. I don't see a gasket. I'm going to look in the box. I don't want to put the original gasket back on. And it does not look like there is a gasket in here. So I'm going to have, I'm gonna have to go to the auto parts store and buy a gasket for that. You know, at first I thought about just ordering one. Um, but I, I, you know, Amazon said that there was supposed to be a gasket in there and apparently there wasn't. So that puts a little hiccup in my, uh, in my process here. And I really don't want to reuse the same gasket. I mean, it's a brand new car. It's part, the car probably has 20,000 miles on it, but I really, you know, I don't want to reuse the same gasket. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go grab a new one. All right, well, I have the throttle body back in. It's a little bit tricky getting all these bolts in. Appreciate that. I ended up uh, loosening the bracket, the black bracket there, um, in order to, because it has to go on top, it has to go on top of this bolt there. So the bracket goes on top of the, the throttle body and then the bolts go through there. So I loosened it up up here and I was able to lift the bracket up, put it back down once that was in place. They have these little, um, these nubs, uh, they're metal, that help you position the throttle body in place. So it'll, it helps hold it in place while you're putting it back in. And from there, you know, I'll put this back in down here. Okay, so that's clipped. And that's what gives power to the throttle body. And this little piece goes into the, the snorkel. Uh, goes into you can see it there from the air intake and so that's going to be the other tricky part is getting that back in there um, with those uh, clamps uh, so I'm going to be going ahead and, and doing that um, and uh, we'll see where that takes me all right so I was able to get the snorkel back on 
Now, in order to tighten that radiator, that uh, the clamp, there it is right there, I had to really just, you know, I worked with some extensions. That's kind of what I, what I ended up using in order to get there. I was able to put it down through here and then angle it in that way. And that's how I was able to get, you know, to that and just, you know, just tighten it down as much as I could, not too much, but enough. And then from there, I can plug in uh, this final one. And, uh, sorry, uh, you know, get this thing back on there. And that should be it. Uh, from there, I need to plug in, uh, there's a clip here that goes up here. That goes in here. I'll do that after I end up putting that back. And then we'll go ahead and start it and, and see how things go. So that's pretty much it. The rest is putting the battery back, you know, clipping that, which is the, the air fuel um, uh, sensor. And um, hopefully that'll resolve that issue that we're having with the, with the limp mode that's most likely being caused by that throttle body. All right, so everything's back together. I connected the battery terminals back, the uh, mass, the MAF, you know, mass air sensor. Tightened that up uh, once I put that back to the air box. And um, I put these back because I had removed them. Um, I didn't need to, but I, you know, when I started off, just in case you're watching the video, I unplugged that because I was going to remove this whole box, and in the end, I, I didn't. So from there, we just put this, you know, this back in. This goes in there. And this should sink right down here and just lock into place. It turns, I guess it turns. It turns to the right. So both of them. So that's back in place. Now it's just a matter of a moment of truth. It's just starting it up and seeing what happens. All right, so now I'm about to try to start the car and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, so far, the lightning bolt's gone and so is the, the traction control light. So I am hoping that it will, well, most likely the computer needs to be reset is what I'm guessing. That's why you would have the check engine light. But definitely it looks good as far as the lightning bolt being gone, the traction control light being gone. Uh, the check engine light, I'm guessing is, like I said, you know, I think it's, you know, it's due to the, obviously there was an error code. So, so far so good. I mean, it looks like that resolved the issues that we were having. I mean, I'm gonna take it out for a test drive right now and I'll let you know. All right, well, the car is back. Uh, my mother-in-law took it to work today and you know, she said that on the way back, the check engine light came off. So I'm just gonna go take a look at it. There's the uh, Jeep Patriot. So I'm gonna take a look at it and uh, just confirm that, you know, everything's cool now. Check engine lights off. Obviously, I don't have my seatbelt on, so that's what's going on. All right. Well, that's been your tutorial on getting this Jeep Patriot um, out of lip mode. Take care.